हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर उमेश कुमार आर्या फैकल्टी ऑफ मीडिया स्टडीज़ गुरु जम्भेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी वुड लर्न हाउ टू यूज द गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू क्रिएट योर ऑन फ्री ऑनलाइन सर्वे फर्स्ट वी विड गो टू गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड दिस इज द होम पेज ऑफ द गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स we would click the create and then we would click the form as you click this then the google documents uh they start preparing a questionnaire for you in the online format like you can insert the title of your research here and uh, i have one online questionnaire with me right now so i would copy this title uh, to the google docs and uh, uh, sorry just control v yeah this is now the topic of my uh, research and questionnaire and it has a small subtext uh, it says you can include any text or information that you will help people fill this out it means uh this field is talking about this part of the questionnaire in which we request the people to fill out fill up this questionnaire Uh, and uh, assuring them that uh, the information given by them would be used strictly for the research purposes only so this is the question title this is first question so our first question is of age like what is our what is our respondents age so we type age here and uh, then uh, the age is not categorized it can take any value like 15 16 34 35 40 so i will select the text as its answer so i will click then done so like my first question is prepared this is my uh heading this is my request to the respondents and this is my first page uh, first questions if i uh clicked it wrongly then i can edit it and uh, it will again open like this and uh, i'm going to add the second question the second question is of text and uh, it says okay let's remove this this question is removed okay then it says the gender gender is now a multiple choice uh question uh first gender is male uh the second one is female and uh, we would click done yes now we are going to we are going uh, forward while creating our questions like first one was the age second one is the gender and uh, we would add here the third question the third question is the qualifications and uh, it is also the multiple choice question the qualification can be in the post graduate the second is um, ample the third one is the phd uh, done question prepared yeah so see how how nicely we are going to make our own questions online and uh, now we would see the variety of the answers that google docs provide us for example uh i would take this question now
now this is a weightage method question I mean to say uh, we would be assigning some weight to these answers for example you take this training as please give ranks from 1 to 4 so suppose I say I have come here for refreshing my knowledge then I will give the first rank to it then context making is my second preference then I will give second choice to it and then break from routine life is the third option for me and only formality is fourth so I am assigning the weights to these answers so how to make this uh, question in the Google Docs okay you take this training as now we have to select some different question type in this case it would be the grid grid is like we are assigning weights first to second so there are only four uh, column labels and we would write as mm, only formality then row second uh, what was the next one break from routine life break from routine life and uh, context making making and the last one is refreshed with knowledge so again we would click done now this is done and uh, how uh, a respondent is supposed to answer this you take this training as please give the marks only formality if I am assigning the first rank to it it means yes I have come here for the formality sake only and uh, break from routine life I am assigning uh, the second option here context making is my third refresh with knowledge is fifth so this is some dif different type of uh, answering scheme uh, again the different question now uh, then is okay did you like this course at ASC GGUST HSR and I want the answer of this question in for example I want the answer on a scale yeah so the scale would be there and it it can be from 1 to 5 like Likert scale is there so uh, we would write uh, highly satisfied and totally dis dissatisfied like uh, the first one is for high uh, the high satisfaction and the the fifth one is for the total dissatisfaction so if we click done then see the satisfaction level goes down so suppose I am uh, so so satisfied I'm not I mean I'm neutral I, I can't say I'm satisfied or I am uh, dissatisfied so I will click 3 so this is uh, some different answer type and uh, uh, we are going to add the next question 
next question could be these are not the multiple choice but uh, the question type in which you can click more than one answers for example do you like check boxes for example television radio newspapers internet and can click done so the respondent can click more than uh, one answers and uh, like paragraph text is if you want to add a question uh, which says please give your suggestions for the improvement in the ASC services then I will leave this question open-ended so you are free to write your own answer here just write it here so this is open-ended so once this is done then uh, you can select different backgrounds of uh, this questionnaire so that it looks attractive to be filled up so uh, I'm going to choose this one yeah so this is our Let me to cancel it. Mm -hmm. Google Documents is there, and uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Then back to editing. Now this is uh, the questionnaire visit ready to be delivered online to our friends. So we would email this form and we will uh, type the email addresses of our friends here like I am going to send this to me first uh, so that I can check how does it look nice and uh, send it then I will open my gmail account Yeah, this is a very simple method of uh, administering the questionnaires online. So I'm um, yeah, please ignore this. This is it has been copied from some other source, so uh, this is the questionnaire dear participants the data in the study will be strictly used for the research purposes only so suppose I am the respondent then I would write uh, fill up my questionnaire like this that my age is uh, 38 and the gender is this mm, qualification is PhD so you take this training program as the formality you know I will give it the last rank break from routine life yes second rank context making yes second refresh with knowledge first yeah did you like the course at ASCG stars highly satisfied yes I am and do you like yeah I like TV I like this and please give you suggestions for the improvements yeah should be asked to use more technological applications while delivering the 
lectures yeah and I will submit it and okay now my questionnaire is filled up like uh, you will send this questionnaire to your friends you can embed yeah this is also very imp important you can put this questionnaire on your blog also you click this and you embed this is the source code for embedding this questionnaire in your blog or in your personal website so people can go to your website or the blog and fill the questionnaire there only and suppose uh, you have opened this uh, questionnaire for the for uh, replying getting replied from the people for one month and say in one month uh, around 1000 people they have uh, filled up this question and submitted their answers so now it's time to analyze the responses so see responses summary you click this summary and uh, the Google documents they would analyze your data themselves so this was the first question age like my age is 38 so only one respondent is there right now that is me I have filled up this questionnaire gender is male first total responses are 1 qualifications PhD 1 and yes you like this training please give marks only formality yes 1 so it will itself analyze uh, the data but the problem with the Google analysis is that it will analyze the data only from the frequency count it will just tell you that uh, out of the 1000 respondents how many uh, uh, are males how many of them are females and uh, how many of them they have the PSD or the PG or the AMPL so nothing beyond this but uh, if you go to the back to editing then you see if you click the C responses then it will ask you whether to open this spreadsheet or not so see the beauty of the Google Docs it has automatically prepared a an excel file for you while filling up your answers automatically and now you can export this data to SPSS and uh, perform some more uh, complex statistical uh, tests there so our uh, both the problems are solved if we feel that uh, uh, only frequency or the percentage part of our research would suffice then we can uh, ask the Google to perform the analysis for us but if we think that no we need to go beyond uh, the simple descriptive statistics like frequency in the percentage then we can go to the spreadsheet and it will tell you the answers filled automatically this is an excel file and all the statistical applications they are uh, they, they can be applied on this and plus this data can be exported into SPSS for further calculations so friends uh, this was a very beautiful application of the Google Docs and uh, the application is very important for the media researchers uh, these days nobody has got the time to fill up your written questionnaires you just prepare this online questionnaire and mail it to your friends and they will fill up this and the results would automatically be calculated so friends thank you very much thanks for watching